Me and Simon. Me too. So, I know the movie's been out for a while, and this is a really, really late review. However, everyone's been catching their two cents, and as, I'm, as I am a nerd, uh, I'm going to go and throw in mine as well. My thoughts on, of course, Batman v Superman. There will be spoilers in this, so um, I'll go and give you guys that warning, of course, in the, in the <clears throat> title above. So, Batman v Superman. Uh, let me give you the good, let me give you the bad, let me give you the overall. The good. Um, I thought it was very well done. For for did, did, didn't hear me out. Hear me out. For you for you. Grab your you know torches and pitchforks. Um, for what I think they're trying to do, I think uh, it was well done. Now uh, and the part that didn't work, I will get into in the bad. But I think they hit the points they were trying to hit. And I think they did a pretty good job of establishing what they what what they're clearly wanting to do next. Um, ben Affleck as Batman. I I apologize. I was actually wrong. He did an amazing job. Uh, some people call him them call him their favorite Batman. I wouldn't go that far. To me, it's still Michael Keaton, Christian Bale. And then pretty much everybody else. Um, as far as well, I'm I'm sorry. Um, overall, Batman's. Uh, oh my God! I can't believe I just forgot his name. Hold on. Uh, for the animated series, and I can't believe uh, his name is in my mind. Kevin Conroy. Duh. Kevin Conroy and Michael Keaton actually they're like neck and neck for my all-time favorite Batman. But Kevin Conroy definitely. If we're going voice actors, including this list, Kevin Conroy guys, you know, is right there with Michael Keaton to me. Um, let's say nothing about the DC, you know, animated movies and things like that, where you know they do Batman's voice. But um, yeah, uh, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't call him my favorite Batman, but I will call him a very, very good Batman and a very good Bruce Wayne. Um, Gal, Gal Gadot, I once again uh, uh, owe an apology. While I still would have liked to see a slightly more stacked woman in the role, she did amazing. I definitely, uh, she definitely had, has earned my respect and my credit. You know, you know. I, I guess another thing for me was, you know, her coming from the Fast and Furious films, which she wasn't bad in. It's just that for her to go from, you know, those films to to this one, such a big, big, big deal, to me, it left me more than a little bit concerned, you know, sorry about all the adjusting, anyway, um, the other good, and I'm seem to be the minority on this, I actually liked Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor, for what he was trying to accomplish, and, and the role he was playing, this isn't the typical Lex Luthor, as in, this isn't the Gene Hackman, or the, uh, Kevin Spacey Lex Luthor, both who are excellent, by the way, do not make me think, make it seem like I'm trying to downplay their roles, they were phenomenal Lex Luthors, I love them both, as a matter of fact, I often say this, I think Superman Returns is very underrated, I think it's more down by, it was a bad story, not bad acting, I think that, um, oh, I can never remember anyone's name tonight, Brandon Routh, who played Superman, was spot on. I think Kevin Spacey was a phenomenal Lex Luthor. I would have loved to have seen them in a better Superman movie with a better script. And, be and, was, and uh, actually, the script was pretty on point as far as some Supermans, but the story was lacking. The story was pretty horrible. I'd like to have seen a better Superman story with the two of them in it, just not in Returns. Returns was the overall story was pretty bad. The acting, not to me, not at all. I think actually Brandon Routh is actually one of my favorite guys to ever play Superman. Um. With that being that being said, Henry Cavill, I still think plays a good Superman for this version. I think people are still so in love with um, um, who we had in uh, Superman. Um, oh my goodness, I cannot remember his name either. What is wrong with me today? Uh man, forgive me, you guys. Forgive me, Christopher Reeve. My goodness, Christopher Reeve. I think that. No, sorry about that, guys. But anyway, they were. I think people still want to see the Christopher Reeve Superman. And while that's okay, and you can want that one, the Brandon Russell is one of my favorites. I think the Superman that Henry, Henry Cavill is playing 
is a good one. I think that he's, you know, uh, just the Superman that, that we're getting for for this franchise. And to me, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, other things that I liked about the movie, ah, uh, there was just so much. Um, the fight, the, the action, the action was definitely the high, one of the high points of, of, of the film for me, um, including the Batman Superman fight, uh, the fight with their, you know, DC Trinity versus Doomsday. I said those were spoilers, guys. Please don't be mad that I just, well, you saw that in the trailer anyway, but I thought the fights were, were pretty good. The fights were really good. I'm sorry, I took that back. Um, Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman in the fights was amazing. I think she really, that's when she really sold me on her being Wonder Woman at that point was when she did that. Um, the Batman vs. Superman fight, I think, was, was very spot on. Clearly, they ripped off of... Uh, of course they did off of the Dark Knight Returns, and which I expected them to, and they did, and they did it in a good way. I, I was I was very very pleased with the fight that we got, and I was, and I was very pleased with the ideology or rather the shaping of the fight with Lex Luthor manipulating Superman into fighting Batman, Superman being not wanting to kill Batman, and Batman just kind of you know I think all that worked. Um, despite my issues with the ending, which is going to go into the bad. I think the ending was well done, and let me let well okay before I say that let me make sure there's nothing else you know about the good I want to see um the flashback sequences and things like that I think that was good I think that I think people are not sure about those I think those are going to be set up for something else in the future that we're going to see like the more we see of the other other movies the more the flashbacks are going to make sense so I will say that that's the good about that um anything else anything, what else what else what else um. You know what? I'm those other Lawrence Fishburne is Perry White. I just like that because first of all, I'm a huge Lawrence Fishburne fan. I have been since I think I remember starting watching movies, especially since The Matrix. I'm just a Lawrence Fishburne fanboy, and I have no shame in that whatsoever. Um, so yeah, I'm just a huge fan of his, and I think that he definitely is awesome. So kudos to him. Uh, a lot of the supporting cast did well. Um, uh, you know, the, the, play the senator, played the general. They they did well. I'm forgetting names. I'm going to bother right now. Jeremy Irons as Alfred. That to me stole the movie because I love Jeremy Irons anyway. He's in like a lot of my favorite movies: uh, Lion King, The Man in the Iron Mask. I just love Jeremy Irons to death. So that so when I heard he was going to be in these movies, I was like. I am 120% in for this movie. I have no reason to see Jeremy Irons play Alfred. And I got my money's worth on that alone. So that was completely, totally worth it. Uh, so, yeah. So, that, that, that's all the good I can think of right now. As we go on, let me see if I can think of anything else. And I'll throw it back to the good category. But let's go to the middle of the road before we get to the bad. Middle of the road. The introduction of the Justice League. Or, the, or the other, 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 you know, superheroes and everything. I liked how it was done. Um, the you know the when Batman's you know sent one over the file with the different heroes and like you know saying like who are you, but showing like the Flash, Cyborg, Aquaman. I thought that was cool. I thought that was really interesting. I thought that was different. And I did like this. Okay, this can't go into the good. I did like how Lex Luthor was smart enough to already have those guys scoped out and looked into before that before all that before all that started. You know, like he was like, you know, I like that that Lex Luthor is that smart and not just a complete idiot who can't even recognize his own arch nemesis when he's not wearing glasses. Come on! Really? Okay. Anyway, but that's the middle of the road. I'm happy how they did that. The bad. They tried to fit too much into this movie. That was my problem with it. And not to say that we weren't all expecting that, that we didn't all know that going in, but it was a little too obvious that's what they were doing. I think if they could have found a way to do it and not make it so blatantly obvious, it would have worked out better. I was watching um, uh, Black Nerd Comedy's review um, of, of this. Naturally, I was. <laughs> and he said that this film would have worked out better as two separate films. Like maybe like Batman v Superman, then Dawn of Justice. I think that would have been a brilliant maneuver if they had done that instead. I think you, I think you can see clearly because he even mentioned like you know in the title like the Batman v Superman in the, in the line Dawn of Justice. That's the true enemy of this film, and I do agree with that because that clearly states that this was actually two separate films that got mushed into one. Um, what else didn't I like? 
I didn't like exactly how quickly the fight between Batman and Superman ended, which kind of goes into the whole too much fit it fit into one movie deal. Um, and of course, and, and this is me. This is I completely forgot that Batman and Superman's mothers had the same first name. Wasn't even think I, I actually had never made that connection before, and I felt kind of like a goober for that. Um, yeah, I used the word goober. Leave me alone. Um, for never realized that never that never occurred to me before. And I actually did appreciate that twist. And this goes back to the good. I appreciate that twist because actually that made like oh yeah that was that was that was a good twist. I like that. Yeah, but to me it goes back to the bad in a way that it resolved things too quickly. If if there were if there was more hesitation on Batman's part of the fight before it even started, like, oh, you know, maybe he's not so bad, you know, but, or I mean, he was just like, dealing with it, like, you know, maybe he's not so bad, no, but no, I still gotta, I still gotta start, I gotta bring him down, maybe that would've made more sense, but he still seemed too sure, oh, I gotta kill him, gotta kill him, Martha, oh, crap, this guy's not so bad, his mother's the same name as my mother, it felt rushed, like, 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 the rest of the film, um, no disrespect to, to Amy Adams, I just, I'm not, the biggest fan of hers as Lois Lane. I don't hate her as Lois Lane. I'm just not her biggest fan. Um, I think she's a great actress. I think she does very well. Just, you know, just I don't know. It's something about it seems different. Maybe it's just, be, maybe it's just you know, I have the same problem everyone has with Superman being different in this universe. My bitch with Lois being different. But you know, I, that doesn't. That, that just falls in my bad category. Other people can like her. That that's that's fine. That's that's just fine. Um. My other bad. Why does everyone like to kill off Mercy Graves like quickly? I don't. I don't understand that. I like Mercy Graves. I think she's a very good character. Everyone wants to kill her off so fast. When they had the whole scene in the the the, the scene in the uh, Senate with uh, them questioning Superman, and then the guy's wheelchair explodes and kills everybody. I was like, dude, why does everybody kill Mercy Graves? Because it happened in the Superman Doomsday animated movie, and you know, looks like they just shot her. I was like, D what? Why does everyone kill Mercy? Man. <sighs> okay, of course, this is me who watched the Superman animated uh, series, and I loved Mercy Grace. She had a very interesting backstory in that show and in the follow-up in the Justice League, so I was just I was just disappointed. I was like, yeah, everyone kills Mercy Grace. Um, I liked Doomsday. I'm in the minority on that. I liked Doomsday. I did not like his inclusion in the film. I did not like how they bum-rushed us with the death of Superman story arc. Was not a fan of that. Because, for two reasons. One, we already know there's going to be another Superman movie. We already know there's going to be a Justice League movie. And three, it's freaking Superman. This is where I think two different movies, one released this summer, one released in the fall, would have been great. Would have been phenomenal. If they had set up for some reason, like, they had to like, you know, team up and then save the world. And then Lex Luthor realizes, now I have to figure out some way to kill Superman. And then introduce Doomsday. That would have worked ten times as better. I'm a Doomsday fanatic because I think the Death of Superman storylines is one of the best in comics. As a matter of fact, I might, I'm going to do a video review of that uh, someday. But I just think that rushing that just, I think, was, 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 was again, too much in the film. And, and, and a friend of mine had this conversation. We understood, we knew already knew going in there was going to be too much in the film, but to me there was too, too much. Um, in Avengers Age of Ultron, I think there was a bit much packed into that film as far as, especially as far as Ultron and Vision go, but even as even as much as packed in there you still they still got a reasonable amount of time for the for the packing in that that, that happened because you already had well established heroes of the avengers themselves you already know who all of them were you know and, and oh yeah and uh rush with you know quicksilver and scarlet witch but you already know who they were so that rushing wasn't necessarily an adult together bad thing it could have been better if there had been a little more time building up any of the four characters in separate movies. But for what we got, I think that was pretty good. In this movie, I think way too much was packed in at once. It felt like it was two separate films that they cut to be one big film. And I know there's rumors of an extended cut that'll be rated R. Maybe that'll make the pacing seem a little bit better 
and things like that. But that was just my only problem. That, uh... I know a lot of people had a problem with Batman killing, outright killing in this movie, but to them I say, none of you saw Batman or Batman Returns, did you? With Michael Keaton. I love Michael Keaton. He should have killed some people in those movies. Straight up. And I'm not saying that you can't want to kill free Batman. And I, I actually do like the idea of Batman doesn't kill. But I think that's a bit of a petty argument because some people will say, well, praise Batman by Tim Burton with Michael Keaton. We'll praise everything about it, but then condemn Ben Affleck's Batman because he killed. I think that's 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 too contradictory and that's too hypocritical. That's just my opinion. Um, I I I hope in the future movies because this is the one thing I didn't like. I hope in the future they will explain more about how Lex Luthor knows Doomsday is coming because he clearly that's clearly who he's talking about. I mean. It, I said spoilers, right? But clearly, he's talking about uh, not do, uh, Doomsday, Dark Side, Dark Side, and I'm a Dark Side fanatic, Dark Side fanboy. To me, one of the best villains, hands down, because he's just so around the core. And I like villains that have no redeeming quality whatsoever. Doom, Dark Side has none. Uh, I keep, I'm saying Doomsday, never say Dark Side. Uh, I guess they, because they both beat up Superman all the time. And just why not? But um, I think that. I, I think the other movies will give more explanation, more detail. Um, so yeah, so so hopefully that we'll get that because that, that was kind of unclear. So overall review of the movie, I did like it thoroughly. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It is one I'm going to buy. It is one I'm going to own, and it's one I'm going to watch again and again because I thought it was gonna. There are parts of it I could skip, parts of it I will never skip. But I think overall it was a very enjoyable experience. I know some people I know who have sworn it off will never see it. I understand and I can and I can respect it. and actually understand I agree understand respect and appreciate that. I liked it. I enjoyed it. If you watch this review, I hope it helped maybe maybe make you make you at least want to check it out and form your own opinion. If not, it's all good. Um, what do you guys think? What were your thoughts on Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice? Let me know in the comments below. If you thought I'm running the money, let me know. If you thought I was way, 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 way off, let me know. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe. If you didn't like this video, like, share, and subscribe. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all your time and watching my videos. And Minasan, I'll see you soon. Sayonara. Peace.